Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy and I am the Handmade Homeschooler. Today we're gonna to be talking about Apologia's Swimming Creatures, which is a science curriculum and it is a three year, three part curriculum. And we're gonna be talking about the second book in the series today, Swimming Creatures. And I'm gonna give you a look inside and show you ways to make it easier, to stretch it out, and some helpful tips if you're going to use this curriculum. So first, if it's your very first time here, welcome. Make sure that you hit the like and the sus subscribe button because it really does help me and my channel out. And we also have a group down below, totally free. There's over a thousand homeschool moms plus myself and we sit there and just talk about curriculum all day long and it's super fun. Okay, so if you're thinking about doing this curriculum, this is such a fun one. This is meant for K through six, I believe. And this curriculum is done by the Apologia curriculum. And Apologia is very close to my heart. I am not an affiliate of them. I am not affiliated at all with them, although I would love to be. Um, they're very close to my heart because they are actually from my hometown. And I was born and raised in that small, tiny little town where they reside. And I know exactly where they are. So. I feel a little bit of a special connection to them. <laughs> so just a little fun tidbit, totally small itty bitty little town in the middle of Indiana. And I'm just, I'm a Hoosier girl guys. I just am. I'm a Hoosier living in Carolina. <laughs> so, all right, let's jump right into the curriculum. So the main parts of the curriculum, you get two main parts. Um, and you can purchase these together. You can purchase them separate. You can purchase them used, however, this is the main part. You're going to get a textbook that looks like this. And you are going to get a notebooking journal. Now there are two separate notebooking journals. There is a junior version and a regular version. This is the regular version. My fourth grader did the regular version of this one. And when he was in third grade last year and did the birds, which is the first book, it goes birds, swimming creature, or it goes flying creatures, swimming creatures, land animals. When he did the flying creatures, he also did the regular journal. Now, if you have a kindergartner through, I don't know, I would say second grade, you might want to look into the, the, um, the junior version of this one, but he, my son is a little advanced. So when he got to third grade, we knew we definitely need the, um, the regular version of the journals. So in the, in the junior version, there's a lot more coloring and easier things to do for them. So I also want to show you that inside of the notebooking journal, which is the, one of the main reasons you want to get this is because the schedule for the year is inside of the notebooking journal. So that's one of the things that makes it really important to have. I would not want to do this curriculum without the notebooking journal. So because I know I'm gonna get asked that, I would not try to do this without the notebooking journal. It just makes things so much better. It makes them more fun. You get the schedule along with it and you really get to bring a lot of things to life through the notebooking journal. So highly 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 recommend you can get these really cheap they're only like 20 bucks guys so definitely spend the extra to get the get the get the notebooking journal now they recommend two days a week however my son really likes science he does not like doing science only two days a week so what we do is we take these blocks and we typically split them in half so we can make four to five days out of a schedule so that way we get a little bit more time with the book. He can go a little bit more slowly, which he enjoys because he likes to, my son does this thing where he, if he reads about something, say it's sharks, he will read his assignment about sharks. He'll do his assignment about sharks and then he'll want to go read something else about sharks external. And that brings me to my next thing. We bought several different books to help us supplement these are not required, just throwing that out there before I get into this. These are not required books. These are books that we found to be very helpful to add more information and really helped him learn more about each topic. Okay, so I have four or five main books here that we used all throughout the year. And I got all of these on Amazon and thrift books. So the first one is the Ocean Anatomy book. Everything in here is hand drawn but there is so much information. I mean, this is, 
this is a pretty thick book, you guys. So this is what the front cover looks like. These are really popular. I believe there's also a farm one and there's another one. I'm almost positive that there's at least three of these. The, the ocean one was the only one he was really interested in. So we bought this and it was one of his Christmas presents and it was one of his favorite Christmas presents. Another one that we bought, I bought this as a gift for him this spring. This is the DK Ocean Eyewitness book. And we love these little DK books. They, it's almost like a little mini encyclopedia about a topic. And we have a lot of these here at the house. We have found them to be very, very helpful. And the images are just out of this world in these books. Highly, highly recommend. You can get these on thrift books very cheaply. I think they're around 10 or 15 on Amazon a piece. So make sure that you get a good topic if you're gonna buy it new. We also bought these. I wanna say I got these at the dollar store, but I might be wrong. They wouldn't be there now, but um, these are just like these easy readers. And we got sharks and sea creatures. And then I think this was his favorite. This is the Masterbooks Ocean textbook. Now this is kind of a small book to be considered a textbook, but it is really a textbook. This came in a four part series on earth science, I believe that my, uh, or earth science or general science. I don't know, somebody, somebody post down in the comments. I know a lot of you use Masterbooks. And my oldest had this, I think one or two years ago for his science curriculum and we saved the textbooks because these are really great textbooks. Masterbooks uses amazing textbooks. And inside is so much information with such great photography. We were very, very impressed by these books. These are a great addition to your Apologia textbook. Now, another tip I wanna go over is not to skip the ocean box. So this is what the ocean box looks like. This is my son's ocean box. And as you can see, it's just a box that we covered with, um, just with paper. This is just regular construction paper. And then we use the magic air dry clay. Now the magic clay, I will link it down below. I will put it in my Amazon store. This stuff is amazing. This stuff dries so quickly. It dries really well. It doesn't break or crumble. It's very light and airy. It's not dense like Play-Doh. This is like, they, they call it magic clay because it really is like magic. It's just amazing. We hung things up with fishing line up here to make it look like they were swimming. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably seen the progression pictures of this. We started this at the beginning of the year. He actually made a beach to go on top. Isn't that cute? Um, so at the beginning of the year, he started this project. He made it. He made his whole box. And then all throughout the year and through each lesson, you add a new sea creature to the box and it grows and grows and grows. And he is keeping his box. It's in his room. It's displayed, even though we're done with the school year and everything he has, he's displaying his little box for everybody to see and for him to have up in his room. So I thought that was so cool. So one of the last things I want to mention here is home science tools. This made the curriculum so much easier for me for a couple of reasons. One, I didn't have to track anything down. And two, it's cheaper to buy the box of the lab kit box than it is to buy each individual piece separately because you only need like one of each thing. And so many of these things come in a pack. They put everything in here. I am not even kidding. There is a bag of dirt which means I didn't have to go in my backyard and get a shovel and dig up dirt to use for this project. So it's just like, it's like a ready to go kit of all the things that you need. Everything from sand to um, just all the, the, the plaster of Paris that I needed to make these little, I'll show you guys these. these this was probably the most fun experiment. This was, we used plaster of Paris to make fossils and it was so fun to show how these relate to the flood. And we had a lot of fun with these. And these, I'm sure he's, he's already asking if he can display those in his room. And yes, he can. So he's going to be doing that. They have everything from the beakers to, I mean, just so many things that you would not even realize that you don't have in your house. But just things that you can pick up that's going to be a lot cheaper in the long run. 
just to spend 40 bucks up front and just buy the box than it is to spend several hundred throughout the entire year buying all of these pieces. Okay, last but not least, I want to mention at the end of the curriculum, there is a, um, there, there's a little blurb about things to watch to kind of just go a little bit further, which my child, he loves to go a little bit further. <laughs> so they recommend this series on Discovery Plus. Now, if you don't have Discovery Plus, you can get it. It's like, there's like a free trial. Again, not affiliated or anything like that. I just found it there and I didn't have to buy it. And I was just like so happy. I even showed you guys on Instagram for all of you Instagram followers. There is a two part documentary series. So like the documentary series has like 10 episodes inside this documentary. It's so cool. And each of them are like an hour long and there's so much information in it and all of the animals that he learned, learned about all year long, plus others are involved in this series. And there's a part one and then there's a part two. So there's probably like 20 episodes in this thing. And if you don't wanna pay for Discovery Plus, but you wanna watch it, you can actually just do the free trial. I think you get like a week free or something and just watch it during that week and then just cancel it. Um, super fun, super worth it. And there was no commercials, which was even better. So. Just wanna put that out there. There is an actual documentary series. I think it's by the BBC, but don't quote me on that. I'm not sure, I, I wanna say it is. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope that these resources were helpful for you. I hope that you're interested in this because this was just so much fun. This has been our most favorite science curriculum. Totally worth it. I cannot wait to start land animals. We're gonna pick up land animals probably in the next week or two. At least by the end of this month, we're going to get land animals, the lab kit and the notebook, and we're going to be ready to go for the last year of this series. I cannot believe we're starting the last year of zoology. I'm kind of a little sad, kind of a little excited. Lots of feelings, lots of feelings. All right, I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys have a great day and happy homeschooling.